welcome back to my channel my name is jasmine danielle i make all types of lifestyle content here on this channel from vlogs to hauls to routine videos so if you like that type of content definitely go ahead and hit the subscribe button you can also hit the notification bell that way you know every time i upload a new video um i've been uploading pretty much every single day in the month of october for vlogtober so yeah definitely make sure you hit the notification bell so you know when my new video goes live and speaking of a new video going live, that is what I'm trying to do right now. Um, I don't know what is happening, um, but my laptop, this MacBook, man, it's just moving so slow. I was trying to um, like upload the video last night, so it would already be, you know, scheduled, ready to go. Um, and yeah, it just was moving super slow so I was just like you know what let me just start over it seems to be doing much better this morning at least it only said it's going to take about 15 minutes to upload this video so that's good I try to have the videos go live at 10 a.m every single day this month um so right now it's 9 21 so we're pushing it um I've just finished the thumbnail so after this is uploaded all I need to do is go in and do the description box the tags and um, like the end cards and all of that. So um, hopefully that won't take too long if this actually uploads in 15 minutes like it's supposed to. Um, but yeah, so today is Sunday, which means today is Vlogtober day 19 for you guys. And I don't really know what I'm going to be filming or vlogging today. I feel like today is pretty much going to be like, sorry, this is moving. I feel like today is pretty much going to be like a weekly reset. Yo, I look crusty as fuck. I'm so sorry. Sometimes I cannot believe that I like literally post videos on the World Wide Web looking like this. But you know what? Whatever. This is real life. <laughs> this is real life. And I just woke up like a little while ago. So my voice is still sounding like real mannish. Sorry about that. But anyways, um, yeah. So like I said, I think today is just basically going to be like a weekly or like reset like Sunday reset basically how I prepare for the week coming up um so really the only things that I need to do like the one like adulting thing that I need to do is go to the grocery store so I am gonna go to the grocery store I just need to get a couple of things um I don't know I'm in the mood for like soups I don't know why but I like I guess because it's fall I already made um a soup like last week but I just want to get some like quick easy soups like tomato basil like I don't know like I'm like I'm craving like chicken broth like is that weird like I don't, I don't want to just have chicken broth but like I'm I guess maybe I should get some ramen or something I, I don't know I'm just craving like broth and soup so then the rest of the day I told y'all yesterday you'll see it in the vlog but I told y'all that I need to <laughs> I told y'all that I need to oh my god <laughs> I told y'all that I need to um, wash my hair so I still am not quite sure if we're actually going to get around to that or not like I need to do that but do I really feel like doing it no but I need to do it so we'll see okay guys so it's a little bit later I don't even know what time it is actually um but I am getting ready so I figured I would just do a little chit chat get ready with me while I am doing that so so yeah I figured I would just do like a quick little get ready with me with you guys and show you my little makeup routine which isn't extensive at all I don't do a whole lot I literally it takes me like five minutes like I'm not even kidding I already did my eyebrows and put on primer so for the primer I use this Fenty Beauty Pro Filter primer um i really like this one this was this is in the soft matte one um i really like this primer a lot like i feel like it is like it's not too mattifying where it makes my skin feel dry but i do feel like it just like smooths in and like fills in any pores so i really like this like sometimes like when my skin is like exceptionally like flourishing i can literally just go in with this um primer eyebrows a little mascara and lip gloss and call it a day like and i feel perfectly fine so yeah for my eyebrows sometimes I go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pomade this is in the shade ebony um or like today I went in with my NYX micro brow pencil um this is in the shade espresso so these are very similar like this is a more affordable dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow wiz it's literally the same exact thing it's like literally the same exact thing so yeah but just 
more affordable. So um, that's what I use on my eyebrows today. And then every once in a while, I'll like, you know, clean them up with concealer or something. So yeah, next I just go in and spot conceal. I haven't really worn foundation, like a liquid foundation in a really long time. Um, I don't even know what foundation I would use at this point, what shade, I don't. I literally don't know. Um, I really like tinted um, moisturizers, but I, I haven't even used one of those in a long time. The one I used to use was by Smashbox, I think. Um, but yeah, so what I've really, what I've been doing like for the last year, two years is just spot concealing. So I'll go in with my concealer. This is the LA Pro Concealer um, in the shade Espresso. I just love a good espresso shade, I guess, but yeah. So I just use this to like spot conceal some like blemishes and like acne scars, dark spots. So then I go in with, um, you can use a beauty blender. This is a sponge. Um, I don't even remember where I got this from, TJ Maxx, Home Goods. Clearly I need to wash my makeup brushes, so don't judge me. I think that might be something I do today. But anyways, I'm just gonna go in. This is damp. And I just blend that out. So yeah, so I don't remember what I said in that intro clip, like at all, you guys. I don't even know what I was talking about. Um, but yeah, I'm getting ready to head out and go to Aldi real quick, pick up a couple things. I'm not like doing a full on grocery shopping haul. I literally just need to pick up a couple of things. Um, like I said, I've been craving soup. I think I was telling y'all that. So I wanna get some like soups and then also like some more salmon cause um, I feel like the salmon that I have, I feel like I've had it for a while. Like it's been in the freezer and I don't know about y'all, but I just like, I don't trust it. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so I want to get some of that and like spinach, like lettuce, like produce stuff that I need to restock up on. So I was thinking about also going to Target, um, to get some wine and, um, like a couple of other little one-off things. So we'll see about that. Um, for underneath my eyes, I go in with the shade Nutmeg. This is the NYX HD or the NYX HD Studio Photogenic, uh, concealer. So yeah, this is in the shade Nutmeg. Like for some reason, this shade has been so hard to find in stores. Like I went a solid probably six months not being able to find this shade in the store. Um, so I don't know what happened then. I just like randomly found it at the um, Ulta here in Durham. So I just go up with that underneath my eye. Like this shade, I'm really not like trying to highlight or anything. So this shade is also kind of close to my skin tone, maybe just a little bit lighter, not really. Um, sometimes if I am looking to highlight, then I will mix it with a lighter um, shade concealer. But, but yeah, most days I'm really just looking to conceal and like lift because I don't know if you guys like my eyes are kind of like sunken in so I try to like bring them out and like make them all look the same um I don't even know if that makes sense but it's so crazy like I used to like love makeup so much and like always spend money on makeup and like um just be doing a lot when it comes to makeup and now I feel like I don't even know how to like fully do a beat face anymore like I don't even know what that's like um, I haven't like done full beat glam in so long. Like I literally just be trying to do this quick little five minute routine and five, 10 minute routine and literally call it a day because I just don't be having time for all the extra, you know? Yeah. So I just went in, this is the Sephora bright set, um, Sephora bright set, um, powder, brightening finishing powder um this is in banana and i'm just using this little elf brush it's my like favorite brush this one and then i have uh, a real techniques brush that i like too but anyways um so now i'm gonna go in with my og fave max studio fix powder foundation in the shade in w45 and i'm using this like um brush from Real Techniques and I'm just yeah so like I don't even know like I don't know I don't even know like what new 
like what makeup is new like what's hot right now like i don't i have no idea y'all like i just i need to buy some new makeup just because i need some like newer things like maybe i would like to get like a tenant foundation or i mean a tenant um moisturizer again um something like that but yeah maybe i'll do that at some point hit up sephora or ulta and just like get some new makeup products because girl it's been five ever so this is my favorite blush of life this is the milani romantic rose blush i love this blush so much it is well loved by me and i'm just going in with that on the cheeks like it's just so pretty it's like a very subtle but like natural like mauvey pink color like i just feel like it works really well with my skin tone like it's like you can barely just barely see it but it really does bring back some color to the face so i like that and then for highlighter, I'm going in with my Laura Geller Gilded Honey highlighter. Still one of my like OG fave highlighters. It's just, I mean, it's just pretty. Like you, there's nothing else to say. And I'm using this fan brush. Honestly, don't know where this is from. I think it's just like a random makeup brush kit, to be honest. I always put like a little bit of highlighter on my nose, on the tip of my nose. What I like to do, and then I'm gonna take that same powder brush and I just kind of like blend everything in together so it's not like a super harsh streak. This is my favorite mascara, the L'Oreal Luminous Carbon Black. This is just like one of my faves, like drugstore mascaras. Um, I don't really wear eyeliner anymore. I haven't worn eyeliner literally probably in three years. <laughs> like I literally, I couldn't tell you the last time I wore eyeliner. I just, I prefer not wearing eyeliner. My eyes are already like kind of small. So I feel like wearing the eyeliner makes them smaller. I don't know. That's just how I always felt. So I just stopped wearing eyeliner a while ago. And so yeah, you guys, like literally that's it. Normally I would go in with like lipstick or lip gloss, but since I'm gonna be out and I'm gonna have my mask on, I've stopped doing that. I mean, I haven't stopped, like I still wear it, but I'd be annoyed every single time because I'm like, I'm gonna have on this mask. So I just have on this um, Smith's Minted Rose Lip Balm. That's all I have on. And so yeah, I'm done. That's it. Like that is my little five minute makeup routine. It's not perfect. It is not like so flawless, but it works for me. So yeah, now that that is done, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, comb my hair down. And then we are gonna head on out and make our way to Aldi. All right guys, so I'm back from the grocery store and I just wanted to show you guys a couple of new things that i picked up so this isn't everything that i got um i literally just wanted to show you these like new things that i'm trying instead of doing like a full grocery haul of all the stuff that i normally get so anyways i just want to show you this new stuff so on the aldi's favorite finds instagram um page she had showed like that they have a whole bunch of like new cheeses out and so i was like oh this is a perfect time to do a cheese board <laughs> So I went there and I've had this manchego before. It is so good. Like this cheese is so good. So I got that and then I actually got this plain goat cheese for um, like a little sandwich thing that I'm making. Um, but then I got the garlic and herb one as well. This is what I went there looking for. So I was looking for this truffle cheddar cheese. Like I love truffle y'all. It is just one of those like flavor things that I love. So I'm hoping this is really good. Um, and I got the last one, so I'm so glad I'm able to try that. And then I also just got a smoked Gouda. And then to go with these cheeses for the cheese board, um, I got this Italian dry salami, the Chianti one. So I don't know if it's any good, but I got that. And then I got a Soprasada. And then I also went to um, Publix because I just needed to grab a couple of specific things. But while I was there, I just went ahead and got a pack of their hard salami because Honestly, I'm going to be honest with you guys, the um, salamis, like these types of meats from Aldi can be hit or miss sometimes. Like 
I don't know. Sometimes they just have like a taste that I just cannot fuck with. So I just decided that I wanted to at least try these because I've never seen these before. I think these are just seasonal. Um, so I figured I would give them a try. And if I don't like them, then at least I have <laughs> the Publix hard salami that I know I do like. So yeah, so that is for the cheese board. And then these were also new, these rosemary scallop crackers. And then I also got the sea salt and black pepper ones. And then from Publix, um, cause I wanted some sort of jam like or pepper jelly. So I got this cranberry jalapeno um, pepper jelly from Publix. I never tried it before. So I think it'll be good, especially like with the goat cheese or something. So then um, also from Publix, I picked up these vitamin C um, juice shots. I've never tried the vitamin C ones. I just normally always get like just the immunity ones. So I have those, but I decided to just get some vitamin C shots. Um, I also got some oat milk. You guys know that I typically only drink almond milk. I do like oat milk, but so here lately, the last two times that I got um, almond milk from, the last two times that I got almond milk from Aldi's, it like curdled. And I've never, literally never had that happen. Like I have purchased almond milk primarily from Aldi so many, like for years now. And that almond milk always lasts. Like after you open it, I think you're supposed to finish it within like 10 days. But that almond milk has lasted me for literally a month and never gone bad. And these last two times that I bought almond milk from there, like it has gone bad. With, and I've, it's crazy because I've never seen almond milk go bad. So I didn't really know what it would look like. But y'all, it was so nasty. It was like slimy. I was like, oh, hell no. So I'm just going to take a break from the Aldi's almond milk for a while because I don't know if it's just something going on or what. But I can't do that. So I just decided to get some um oat milk i like the oatly brand i've had it before so i just decided to go ahead and get that and then from i got this at publix now y'all i have tried a kombucha before and i was not feeling it but i saw this on the aldi favorite finds again and it's this pear rose and i don't know it just sounded good the girl was drinking it she said it was good i don't know y'all i don't like kombucha so i don't know this this might have been bad, but this was like a seasonal flavor. So I just decided that I'm going to at least try it. Maybe it will change my mind. But then, y'all, I, I was at Publix and I was getting my wine, like my, you know, go-to fave, my Stella Rosa, Stella Rosa. Like, this is my fave wine. I know some people say it's juice. I don't care. I love it. Oh, but baby. Then I saw this one. Stella Rosa blueberry y'all I have never seen the blueberry one before this gotta be like new new but um so I posted this on Instagram and one of my Instagram followers hey girl um she watches these videos but she um said that she tried this one and it's so good so I'm really excited I'm probably going to open this today I'm not even gonna lie to y'all like we have to try this um so I'm really excited about that and yeah so that's like the new kind of things that I bought that I just wanted to share with you guys. So I wanted to show you guys some stuff that I had ordered from Amazon. Um, these things came in yesterday um, evening. So I just wanted to show you guys what I got. Um, one of the things I cannot show you because I'm actually working with a brand to do a review on that product. So exciting stuff. Um, but yeah, so I guess I'll show you like this is totally random. Like this is a completely random Amazon purchase day so the first thing that i want to show you guys is this brush so i actually got this because i saw another girl with it i was watching a video it was like a blowout tutorial and you guys know i'm trying my best to get like better at my blowouts and so far i've been doing good i'm trying to learn how to do the chase method the correct way when i flat iron and then so i got this brush because she was using it to brush her hair as she was blow drying so now I have a blow dryer, like a normal blow dryer, but I have like a comb attachment on it. So I use it with that, but I wanna just use the blow dryer by itself to get used to like brushing it at the same time. The problem with that though, just like with the chase method is that I'm uncoordinated as fuck y'all. I'm super uncoordinated. So I find myself struggling like with like 
how to hold the brush and do the blow dryer at the same time so that it's like, you know, making sense. So I get a little hung up sometimes, um, but you know, that's my own coordination issue. So I'm gonna work on that. But yeah, um, she was using this as she was blow drying her hair and obviously it's like ventilated. So it's like a really good brush and it's like curved, which I'm pretty sure you guys can see, but it's like curved and it's like, I don't know, it just like, <laughs> curves perfectly to your head which i think is interesting so yeah so i ordered that it was i don't remember how much it was but everything that i mentioned will be linked in the description box below for you guys and also i am a part of the amazon affiliates program so if you do purchase the item through the link in my description box i do get a very tiny commission from it so just wanted to let you guys know that full transparency so next another random thing i just needed to restock on my magnesium supplements i actually have some but they're gummies and i don't like them they take like chalk and I was like it's a lot easier to just swallow those things so I picked up some more of the magnesium they're good for like muscle relaxation um it supports nerve heart and bone health and um I got it mainly for like um I have muscle spasms a lot and so this really helps like when if I don't take my magnesium supplement that's when like the muscle spasms and stuff start again and so I'm like I need to get back on my supplement so that's some of that. Then I ordered a new book. So you guys know I finished like the last two books I read. I read and I still have other books that I ordered that I need to read. But I don't know. I've just been wanting to read something else. So I watched this girl on YouTube. Her name is Brooke Michio. And she had mentioned this book, American Royals. And basically it's just like a fiction novel about what if America had like a royal family. So basically what happened is like these people are all descendants of George Washington. So um, instead of him becoming the first president, he became the first king of America. And so all these people are like descendants. And this is like modern day. So um yeah, it's just very interesting. I I literally just started reading it last night. I think I'm only on like chapter three. So, but so far it's pretty good. I mean, I think it's going to be a very light, easy read, which is fine. And then there's also a sequel um, called Majesty. It's right here. So if I like this book, which I feel like I probably will, I'm probably going to go ahead and order the sequel as well and just read those. But these are by Catherine McGee. And then last but not least of my random ass Amazon haul, <laughs> Amazon totally got me with this. I saw this on like their homepage and I was like, I'm intrigued. So it's these Crunch and Munch popcorn snacks. <laughs> so you guys, I know you know what like Crunch and Munch is, but this is a birthday cake flavor. And so it has popcorn clusters with cake battered flavored popcorn mixed with mini sugar cookies and rainbow sprinkles obviously it's been torn i've tried these they're good um and then they also have a cookies and cream one and this is white chocolate glazed popcorn with chocolate cookie crumbles and dutch cocoa cookies so these were also good i don't know which one i like the best they're both good in their own way so if you're looking for like a fun little sweet snack um would highly recommend these they were really good um so yeah again totally random haul doesn't make any sense but again stuff that i wanted slash needed so that's what it is um and yeah so then i have like i said i have another thing which it's a skincare thing i'll say that much so it's a skincare product that i'm really excited i've been wanting to try one of these for so long so i'm excited to try it so yeah i'm gonna try that for you guys but that was it i just wanted to show you guys that so what i'm about to do right now is Oh, my hands are ashy because I just washed them and I didn't put any lotion on. So ignore the ash. But what I'm about to do real quick is t um, touch up my nails. So you guys know I went and got my nails done last week. So I ended up just doing like a regular gel manicure, which I don't know why I'd be doing that. It's a waste of money because um, the gel just chips so fast on my hands. Um, so it's literally only been a week since I got them done and already I've had to repaint two of my nails. So luckily I have a polish that's very close to the polish that I got at the nail salon. So like this is the color of the polish that I got from the nail salon. Um, it's just like a pretty nude baby pink. And then this is the color that I had at home. They're really, <laughs> this looks so stupid. But anyways, they look really similar. Like you literally cannot tell a difference besides the fact that my painting skills are terrible. So yeah, I really, um, so I'm glad that I had that. So again, my hands are ashy because I just washed them just 
bear with me y'all um so yeah so i need to repaint these two nails so i'm about to do that right now um and then i think that i'm going to probably sit down and try to plan out my work week i forgot to show you guys something um i ordered another thing from amazon but you guys are on it right now so let me show it to you purchased another one of these little selfie stick tripod um I've had one of these and I ordered it years ago, but I recently broke it. Like, I don't know how, but I just broke this piece right here clean off. Don't know how I did it. Don't know what I was doing. Um, but it lasted for so long before I broke it. So yeah, I just ordered another one of these. It's really just small and easy to use. Um, obviously it's like a tripod and, um, it extends even more than this. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to get another one because it's just so much easier to like prop this up on the kitchen counter or on the bathroom counter or somewhere like really easy versus my ring light tripod because it's so much bigger. Um, that one is better for like sitting down or just like if I need the ring light. Um, but for the most part, I really like having this one and it's easy and compact, like gotta put it down. It's like nice and compact. So it's easier to take with me. It's easier for vlogging, like out in public with my phone You can put it like that and it fits in your purse. So yeah, I really like this, um, little tripod. It's very handy dandy. If you like record videos on your phone. Hey guys. So I feel like I lied in my last clip because I was like, I'm going to go do my nails, all this stuff. I haven't done my nails yet. I ended up sitting down and editing this vlog, basically got it up to this point and it's already like 25 minutes long. So I was like, mm, I think I'm just gonna stop here. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end off the vlog here. I hope you guys did enjoy today's vlog. It was kind of like, just really chit chatty. We talked a lot in this video and by we, I mean me <laughs> talked a lot in this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow for Vlogtober day 20. Bye.